Hello everyone, welcome to another video. And actually, uh, the idea for this video came from the comment uh, for this enhanced target simplified version video from Scott. And it is a good question. Uh, why do I use Python for if else statements? Did I try to use design script? And he uh, provide very good example how we can use design script instead of Python. And there is a question regarding the speed. So first of all, why do I use Python script? Because simply I just get used to uh, use Python uh, for this type of the task. So if I need to write uh, some simple if else, I will use Python uh, in the most of the cases. Also, uh, if I have some a bit complex case when I also need to have while loop before I start with if and else, again, that is very easy when you're using a Python. Uh, in some other cases, I will use formula. Or uh, I will simply, for some very, very simple cases, use a generic node from a Dynamo library. Uh, but sometimes when you have from one side, uh, like just one text, just one element but from the other side you have a lot of elements sometimes you will have a trouble using uh, those two uh, type of uh, the nodes that is why i do prefer uh, going with uh, python because anyways when you say okay on the input number one i have something on the input number two i have something else uh, now depending on the condition you will need to uh, proceed with input one or input two uh, you will not have a problem in any case when you're going with Python. Uh, why I'm not using design script? I don't know. Simply um, uh, when I'm using Python and sometimes when I'm using those two types of uh, the nodes for the if else, I just uh, didn't have a need to use anything more than that. This time I'm running uh, the script in the Revit uh, 2021 and Dynamo 2.6.18786. And this is the original script. So we did have some Python node over here and Python node over here, in which basically we want to check uh, what the user chooses as a, a category of the tag and what we should deliver as a category for the installation. And as Scott mentioned, you can do this also in design script. And there, there are a lot of ways how you can uh, go with if else statements. That is the one node. Second node is this node over here. And so in the original script, we have those two Python scripts for if else. And before we proceed, I just want to mention uh, some other ways how you can go uh, with if and else statements. So one option is Python, uh, second option is design script, like third option is you can call uh, a node like this node over here. And this is the, the node from the Dynamo library. So instead of using Python, for this case over here, you can just uh, connect to see uh, if the value will be true or false. And then if the value is true, you can deliver all those elements. And if we have over here false as a, as a value, then we can just again call design script and type whatever uh, some random string in order to uh, confuse this part of, of the script over here. So. One option is it's Python, second option it's design script, like third option is this over here. And then maybe like final option for uh, if else, I would sometimes call formula. Okay, and also over here I can say if x equal true, then go with y, if not, then go with z. And again, uh, I can connect condition, the value if it's true, the value if it's false. Now we can run this script. 
So let's go with ducts and I want to delete uh, existing ducts. So this value over here will be true. If the value is true, we must have as an output all those elements over here. But I think that we don't have at the moment in the view uh, some tags. Okay, so what we have over here, the value is true. So from the Python script, we have uh, one, 1024 elements. Over here, again, we have the same. And over here, we have the same. So you can run this Python if else on, uh, on so many other ways. And now uh, I will delete this one. And before we start comparing Python and design script, I just want to explain what was uh, my logic for measuring the time. And from the moment when you run the script, immediately over here you will have the date at the moment when you run the script. So uh, I will say X is list append input. I don't have any input, so immediately I will have a date over here and I will print that date. On the other hand, uh, I will uh, I will need to pass through all of this and at the moment when I have tags over here, then I will do the same. So I did define again variable X, I want to append my input and uh, when I complete with appending that input, I will say, okay, give me the date now. And then I will just subtract those two dates and I will print that difference. So that is the methodology for uh, measuring the time. Uh, I know that methodology is not the best, but it will give us some results. I will exit the script. And before I run the script, uh, when I did run the script just for this layout over here, was something like one second or one and a half second. So what I did, I have some uh, 200 and something of ducts over here and I did copy all those ducts uh, three times more. So now in total, we have those 1024 ducts and I will initially delete duct tags. Okay, so we don't have tags anymore. And now I will run the script for Python. Run. Ducts, I want to delete existing. Okay, let's see the time difference. So the time difference is 14 point, let's say four seconds. Okay. Uh, again, I will delete all duct tags. So it's select all and delete. Okay. Now I did run the script which have a design script. And Scott provided a good example how we can use design script over here. Because I did have this node over here, I did delete this part which will recognize immediately category, uh, just in order to have maybe uh, same comparison between the design script and Python. And over here we have design script with uh, if and else statement, and also over here. So again, if the value is true, we need to provide a list of elements. If the value is false, again, uh, we will provide my name. Uh, okay, we will run the script. Ducts, we want to delete, set value. And we did have like 14.4. Uh, it's 14.22. So, I don't know. Uh, I would say that if we are measuring the time needed in order to go through to, to the Python and design script, probably the time is more or less the same. Why? Because uh, simply 
this is, I think, very, very easy for uh, CPU to resolve uh, because it, it, it is a simply false statement. And as I mentioned, you can use either this uh, node or you can use a formula or you can use design script or you can use a Python. And again, if you're talking about the performance of each node, I think more or less uh, all those nodes will uh, will perform the same task for a similar time. Thank you for watching. Bye.